Is it possible to build this tool for call analysis in five minutes and get all these insights? Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Mark and you're on 5 Min AI channel where we're trying to build products in five minutes, not a days, even a month. And today we're going to talk about call analyzer. What is this? Uh, the idea is simple. We have a sales calls that we want to analyze and identify client needs, client intent, interest score, and other metrics that help us to upsell these clients or, I don't know, identify most common problems, improve your QA knowledge base and other stuff. There's multiple purposes of that. So we want to transcribe the call. We want to analyze it with OpenAI and get some metrics. Mm. Yeah, so here's an example of the result. Before we get started, and we need to prepare a bit, <laughs> we need to create an ATN account. You can do it in the cloud, or you can check out my video where I show how to self-host it in a version. Um, again, 10 minutes. And then we need to set up Superbase. It's a database and it's optional. Maybe you want to save it somewhere else, maybe in your CRM, maybe Airtable, Google Sheets. It doesn't matter. Then we use Assembly AI. It's a tool that helps us to transcribe audio. And then we need to open AI account. Um, next step, we need to go get a call link because Assembly AI requires direct link. You can upload it to Superbase storage or Dropbox or maybe somewhere else, but at the end we need to direct link like this one. And if I will click it, it open a new page with web player and I will be able to play this audio. This is what we need to have. And my example, it's a case with online education service that makes follow-up sales calls. <clears throat> and uh, last one, what we need to do is prepare JSON schema for OpenAI and prompt for assistant. So idea is that you may have different niche and different purposes of trans call transcription. So you need to maybe talk to ChatGPT. This is how I did it to understand what metrics you need and understand how you can prompt the system to get these metrics. So in my example, I found like this list of metrics is useful for analysis, like interest score, for example, client intent, next step recommendations. Mm, then we need to transform it to JSON. Actually, we need to get this result in a JSON format. This is how it should look like at the end. So we will be able to use it somewhere else. If you use a just simple text, then you won't be able to structure all these data and use it further. So I usually use for my AI system, JSON schema type for response to get structured responses that I save to database and use further and show it in interface and so on. Yeah, and so we need to make this list of metrics. We need to get these metrics as JSON and to get it, we need to specify JSON schema for OpenAI system. This is how it looks like. You can again use ChatGPT to generate it or even internal um, OpenAI generator. They provided it a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, you can just send a list of metrics. I ask to make appropriate types. For example, interest score, it's integer. It's not a text. And also we have here some description for OpenAI to make it clear what this metrics is about. And yeah, so at the end, we need to have this JSON scheme. We are going to use it further in the automation. And the last one, it's prompt for assistant. It's almost the same, just some recommendations that you send to all uh, to assistant. So it, it, it will be clear for assistant what we're going to generate and how to use this JSON schema. And the last one, optional um, step is prepare Superbase database. I prepared this one with simple input and output JSON fields. And so we will be able to save their transcription, call link, output, JSON. Yeah, but maybe you want to save it to the Google Sheet or somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Return our 
turn on our timer and let's go to edit them. So I've already prepared some uh, scenarios, so I will just build exactly the same we have already on the screen. So first of all, we need to set up URL for audio call. We copy that URL here. Then we need to add HTTP request for assembly AI. Uh, we need to post request. We're gonna take URL from here. Uh, let's transcribe. Then we need to set up authentication the general pam 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 has also already prepared it and then we need to send the body mm, we have a multiple net hook url we have multiple parameters so one of them is audio url that we will get from previous model uh, like so we use just json url and then we can specify a few additional mm, but optional parameters language speaker labels speaker expected and i will use speaker labels to get and uh, to to yeah to split speakers we need to specify true here with expression we need to specify json url we need to specify a webhook url this is where assembly i will send the results so uh, let's open new Scenario add here webhook. It should be post webhook. Uh, be sure that you copied production URL and don't set up any authentication. Let's go back here and add this webhook. Nice, we are ready. Uh, and I'm gonna test it. We will test it a bit later. So here I will just copy these variables. It's a prompt and JSON schema that we prepared here as you can see release prompt and then it's optional stuff and yeah I am not gonna duplicate it I'm gonna duplicate this one uh, to show you how the professionals works <laughs> yeah so as a result we will get here in webhook uh, this response like body status completed transcript ID. This is what assembly AI will send to us. So we need to just specify this transcript ID here in the URL to get the results. So here we will have webhook one. And uh, yeah, let's copy. And now we need to send post post to open AI. And the thing is why we use HTTP request because you can specify just on schema in the body here uh, comparing with the node uh, like with the default node of NA10 so we need to send body we use JSON we use expression we need to post this URL change authentication predefined let's open AI let's make a club uh, and here we specified content mm, like prompt and prompt from here so we need to change the variables prompt from here and JSON's here schema and content it's um, it's combined a string from assembly transcription you will see how it works and then we just need simply create record in super base but because it's optional actually I, I'm not going to do that I will show how it works later so uh, let's just save and check if it works at all we need to deactivate this webhook and we need to test workflow here it works it generated a bot and you can uh, uh, not a bot but a transcription i mean we can copy this id and we can go to execution and wait a bit uh, wait a bit and yeah it's ready five minutes nice so what do we have here we got transcription we can check JSON 
and you can see it returns multiple types like text, the full transcription uh, without any roles, speakers. It returns all words that you can use somehow, I don't know, and uh, utterances with split by speakers. This is what we use in the next model here for OpenAI. Uh, we provide this prompt, JSON schema, as I said, we provide this text where we combined response. Uh, let's open it. Yeah, we combine speakers because we need to make it clear for, actually, actually we won't see that. Yeah, but here you see that yeah here like speaker one speaker two speaker a speaker b so OpenAI will know who talked and for example if it's manager and client he will be able to understand roles and identify replics like how they communicate and analyze on the manager's communication so and we sent all this stuff to OpenAI and it returned content this content and again it's JSON but it's mm, a string actually you need to stringify this JSON to get these results and as you can see it's like client intent integer score and other metrics that we specified in the prompt and in, in JSON schema so if we will try to for example save it to the super base let's go back and then it turns on and we will see how to, how this data will be saved to super base here so for super base i specify input and output in the input i want to see the whole transcription I want to see audio URL and I want to see transcription ID. And for output, I will just JSON parse, not a stringify as I made before, <laughs> say before, but parse this content. And I will have, yeah, I will have it here. Yeah, it's done. So yeah, you can see this is a, also JSON with a text that I can show in the interface or somehow process again. It's audio URL, direct URL and the transcription ID from assembly AI. And for output, again, I have clear JSON that I will be able to easily to use to show on, in, on the interface. Um, so what's next that's all actually we can transcribe calls right now we can use this transcription further in some process we can analyze these calls you can change prompt you can change metrics and get own mm, insights there's multiple uh, ways to use that so how we can improve it uh, there's a, a few directions for example if you're a SaaS builder you can build interface for users for admins and if it's a business you can add interface for manage all these prompt and metrics stuff right in the interface yeah and i can show how my tool looks like it's sort of SaaS too so it's open and you can go to this site and test yourself uh, it's free but it's for demonstration only so i delete all data every two days so yeah, we have a list of calls. This interface was made on Bubble, in database and the super base. And yeah, it's a simple interface to display all metrics and, and quickly check if we have some upsell opportunity and if some next manager, I don't know, maybe manager of sale manager uh, need to call this client and try to upsell him or follow up somehow. Yeah, and if you want to add some additional features as no code freelancer or business owner there's a lot of ideas you can integrate the, the solution with existing CRM this is what we did for one dental clinic for our client you can send notification to managers 
right after the call was transcribed. You can set different tasks and there's a big list of ideas that I left in my community. Yeah, and for business owners, you can, uh, what you actually can do with your process after you analyze this call, mm, you can approve call scripts, you can identify agent weaknesses and add some trainings in next session for team or, yeah, and uh, I also prepared around 10 more points for each of these directions so you can check my community to find more and also if you want to find templates and a step-by-step -step guide with all details and all code that i used in um, them like na10 yeah just check out my community and subscribe on my channel uh, soon i will show you more um, find me in ai products thank you have a good day bye